What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the bang of the day, guys, on the Jordan 1 handcraft. We have here today the Jordan 1 handcrafted, and these are set to release on December 18th. I picked these up a couple days ago, maybe like last week actually. And usually when I get shoes and they sit around in my office, I tend to kind of grow accustomed to them. I, I, I tend to like them more. With this shoe, it really wasn't the case. It's not that I hated them. I just didn't grow any more fond of them. I don't even think I'm gonna end up keeping these in the collection long term. It's definitely a dope shoe, but I have a lot of shoes that mimic this and look very similar. The Mocha ones right off the rip. So it's like, I'm a little bit on the fence whether or not this is a shoe I wanna keep long term or even how long I really wanna keep them. Nevertheless, these are dope. The materials are nice. If you like the shoe, you're gonna love the shoe. Don't take my opinion and just run off with it. This is definitely a nice shoe overall, but when you're dealing with someone like me who got tons of shoes and is trying to every single day get rid of shoes and buys more and more I have to be a little bit more crucial on the shoes that I actually pick up and there's tons of other ones coming out this month we have the Jordan 1 patent leather bread we had the bubble gum joints the Bordeaux's released recently these are releasing on the 18th there's an, the Gore-Tex there's tons of ones releasing in the month of December and in November so past November it's like a lot uh, it's going crazy the retail price point is 170 they come in that prototype box that we've seen before however this is not a prototype you can't cut this one I mean, you can, but there's no lines to tell you where to cut it. The shoe itself, the the handcrafted, it comes with different materials, different colors. Handcrafted gives you that feel of a shoe that was built from scratch. You got different browns. These are two different browns. The sail with the leather, a suede or new buck, Nike swoosh, wine, 3M, 3M on the toe box as well. The lacing system and that polyester from black to salmon that cuts right there. You can actually see it when it transitions. It's a lot of crazy stuff going on with this shoe. It's like a mashup. Nike Air is all also featuring that salmon colorway and a quilted insole, quilted insole entirety. One thing that I like that they did on this shoe though also was make the Nike Air a patch. It's not printed. So when you wear this shoe, you're not gonna be rubbing that Nike Air off and staying there for life. Something a little bit different. All black outsole. As I stated, the, the midsole even seems to feature that sale material or sale colorway as well. It's not like a pure white. And you know, Jordan brand loves themselves from sale. It just is what it is. I like a lot about this shoe though, the Air Jordan patch that is used used right here. Just something different, something we're not used to. Also, the whole entire shoe itself is outlined in this sail type of threading. It just makes the shoe pop even more and more. I mean, just check it out. You, you can see the threading being all that around is just something different in this whole entirety. You have that black leather on the ankle, as well as a little bit right here. Just so much different materials, different colors, different feels throughout the whole entire shoe. You also have two extra sets of laces, one being this cream or sail lace, and then also a all black. These are cotton, while this one here is polyester. And as much as I do like the transition and I like how this lacing, how, how these laces are, the biggest con of the shoe is probably the laces themselves. Laced up how it is right now, the shoe was this, it didn't have enough lace, I needed more. Trying to tie this shoe up right here, it was like a, this much of like a knot, you know, like the little loop you put, I couldn't do nothing. At the same time, I do rock my shoes like this, not this long, but like, you know, like have it like this sometimes too so it is what it is is an easy fix but the polyester laces this you know sublimated laces don't seem to be long enough for typical lacing so you know jordan brand just think about that the 3m i'm actually going to do a little 3m test i'll have it on the screen for you guys to see i want to see how this looks as well as this i'm pretty sure this shoe pops a lot with the flash going on 3m i ain't gonna lie to you it's cool but uh it's kind of like the, the same thing with glowing in the dark. Like it's all cool, but it's just like a little gimmick thing. You know, I, I want some green bean fives. You want me to give me some 3M? Give me the 3M green bean five. That's all I want. And we'll be straight after that. All right, Jordan Brand. So these are releasing on December 18th. As far as like the resale and how I think they're going to do, I'm not the best when it comes to that, but just gauging off of this and gauging how the ones have been in this one in particular, I don't see this shoe going above 250. Do not hold me to it though. These, I don't know. The, the resale market is not in my control. I don't ever see any going above 300, that is, even that. I don't, I just, I don't feel like the hype is there for this shoe, but at the same time, if you're someone who wants to get on retail, you better wake your ass up. I've always told y'all that. Don't, don't take me saying, oh, they're going for, they're, oh, they're only going for 220 resale? I don't need to get up. Get up and get, go get the shoe for retail, bro. Get up, because more than likely, it's still going to sell out. The shoe is still going to sell out, but I just don't see these going up crazy in price if you missed out on them. Nor am I going to tell you to go and buy a resale. Like, when I miss out on the shoe, I keep it trucking. I might cop resell here and there when I really need it. Like I need these Alma Manier threes, you know. That's a, yeah, but I keep it trucking. But. 250 maximum when it comes to this shoe. Let me know though, are you guys copying these or not? Is this a pass 
or not. I think this is a nice shoe, but for me, it might be a pass. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I'm going to see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.